at the John Q. Hammonds. Yeah, I made $37 for three tickets. <laughs> <laughs> That's cheaper than Branson. Yeah. <laughs> wow. That would have been uh, probably in the mid 80s. Maybe no, late 70s, right? Yeah, 70s, yeah. Yeah. Uh, people always tell me that it was the best concert they ever seen. That doesn't surprise me. They also remember that John never left the stage. Do you remember that? He stayed up there for two and a half hours. Now, we don't do, our show isn't quite that long, but uh, he did two and a half hours and never left the stage. It was always amazing to me. But the band would take a little break and leave John with the guitar to sing to the audience for a little bit. And these are some of the songs that he would do during that part of the show. I always loved that part of the show. You never knew exactly which songs he was going to do. Now, this one, uh, every now and then he would do it. I always got a kick out of it. If for no other reason, this is the shortest song ever recorded. <laughs> this is not going to take long. Now, keep in mind, it was written for the Times, so it's very time-specific. It's also, I think, a very important social song. It goes like this. I'll sing you a song of Spiro Agnew and all the things he's done. <laughs> Were you expecting more? And then there's this song that got me in trouble one day. <laughs> <laughs> 